Hello, this is Lindsay up to the Quilt Coin, and having made a very nice border, I'm going to go through how you can save that into the Qmatic so that you can use it another time. So we're going to go to File, Save, Save Design File. I need to give it a new name, and I think it was called Villette, so I'll just type in Villette Corner. And I have found that if I put that onto my USB stick, I will be able to look for it more easily when I want to put it into the design center. So I'm just going to put that into my E drive, which is where my USB stick is. So I've got it going into the E drive. I've called it Villette Corner. And now I'm going to save it. Right, so supposing I've got rid of that and I've come back another day and I want to look for my, uh, I want to go and find the corner that I saved. So I shall go to design library, import design. I will go down to my E drive, which is already open in actual fact. There's some things there that it can't import because they're screenshots, they're nothing to do with Qmatic. The Villette corner is down here. I'm going to select all regardless of whether it's already imported things before or whether it's not going to import things that it doesn't want to. So I'm just going to select all and import. Now that it's gone that pale green color, it says it has imported. So I can close this. I can go into the design center and as it's alphabetical, I'm hoping that it will be somewhere here. Oh, here it is, Villette Corner. So I shall click it and it goes into the design center. So I'll close it. Here it is. It's a little odd. It's got a line going through it, but if we select it and you go in a bit, it doesn't actually have a line on the design. You can really go in and have a look. And it's there and it will be there unless I decide to delete it for some reason. So there we have it. How to save a corner that you have created and then be able to use it anytime you like.